Boots one, end over end. Going to be out of the back of the end zone. Touchback. Great job. Maybe his longest of the year right there from White. And the freshman goes over, and even he gets a high ju jump. High five from one of his teammates. And this Gamecock defense settles in. Right around the 25 like we're ready for you, Tennessee. We're in rare air up here in Knoxville. Just two wins all time against Tennessee in this stadium. There is no foul on the play. First down, Tennessee. And they're trying to hold on now to get one. Fourth quarter of play, 1.13 to go. Jarek Garantano, the quarterback for Tennessee, is 7 of 10 on the day, but just 61 yards. John Kelly from Detroit, Michigan, the junior tailbacks beside him. Garantano looks over to the sideline with his four wide receivers set. Wants to throw it. He's in the pocket, pressuring by Carolina. Garantano has the ball knocked out. He jumps on it. He does recover it in the backfield. That's going to be minus three on the play. Keir Thomas came off the edge over the right side and knocked the ball away. Tennessee with a hurry up. Clock running, 54 seconds. Garantano looking left side. Wants to go down the sidelines. Got his man there. Caught at the 39 steps out of bounds. That's Marquez Callaway with a 16-yard gain on the play. Man, Garantano's staring down those receivers. Let's see if the Gamecocks can take advantage. Yeah, we played a little soft that time, but that's, that's normal. They move the chains, trying to reset. Carolina holding on to that 15-9 lead. Garantano out of the shotgun. Snap the football. Four wide receiver set. Got plenty of time. Now looking down the middle of the field. has got a man. Caught the 30 and it hit right at the 22-yard line. Carolina says they've got the football. Is it a turnover after the catch? It's not. He's down. He's ruled down. He's ruled down. And Tennessee just had a long inside route given up down the middle of the field for Carolina for 39 yards. Completed catch. First down. 41 seconds remaining for the Volunteers. Carolina's been good in the red zone all day. They got to be good again. Must be going to look at it here. No Carolina's calling a timeout, I think. Early on the field is completed catch for a first down for Tennessee. The previous play is under further review. That thing was a long way away from us here towards the west end zone. And it was a big lick by Jamarcus King, who I'm... then got the football, Tommy. But I don't know. I didn't see the catch. If you can catch a replay, let us know. I'm not certain if that's not a catch, but I really can't see it well, even in the replay. So the um, the Tennessee fans, after watching it on the Jumbotron here, they're not very enthusiastic about it either. So uh, looks like to me the ball did come out a little bit, but um, it maybe more so when he hit Here's the a ground. Call. Here's a call. First down. Yeah. They did get it. Yeah. Probably a good call. I certainly didn't see any video that decisively say otherwise so it's a catch of 36 yards and just like that they got it at the carolina 22 yard line garantano out of the shotgun the dangerous kelly to his right first and ten garantano looking left side come back right he juggled it stepped out of bounds but he got in time marquez calloway at the 14 yard line and the gamecocks kept him in front rashad fenton but it's an eight-yard gain, 30 seconds remaining in the ball game. Carolina trying to hold on for the win. It's been a bunch of field goals today. And an A.J. Turner sweep for the touchdown. No timeouts for Tennessee. Out of the shotgun, Garantino looking left side, trying to throw backside, incomplete. He wanted to... Wide receiver in the corner of the end zone, Josh Smith, well covered by Fenton. He just really threw it away in front of the down marker. Now there's 27 seconds remaining. Yeah, Starworth was, I'm sorry, oh, rather, in that defensive end position was really had a beat on him there, and he had to throw it, took a hard lick afterwards. Orantano now got third down. Third down, two yards to go. Kelly's to the right of him. We'll see if Garantano 
He's dangerous enough with no timeouts to hand off. He doesn't. He was looking left side, slant route. Got his man Callaway. He's got a first down at the five-yard line. Tennessee's got to move. They move the chains with 22 seconds remaining. That's a nine-yard gain in front of Fenton to Callaway. They're trying to hush the crowd here. They got it. First and goal at the Gamecock five-yard line. Garantino out of the shotgun, throwing fade route. Out of bounds is a flag on the play. You saw Fenton clapping his hands, but it's on you, big guy. That's pass interference. Yeah, that was a good call. I think Rashad did push him there a little bit, but let's see. It's only going to do so much damage. But now this gives him a chance for two more plays. Nine seconds to go. They both got to be quick. Pass no timeouts. Defense, number 16. The foul occurred in the end zone. The ball will be placed at the two-yard line. Tommy, automatic first down. Tommy, you can't run here. Garantino, Tano, you got to watch for him to scramble out on a pass play. But nine seconds remaining. Carolina up 15 to nine. Garantano at the Carolina two-yard line. He's going to fake inside, wants to throw. He's under pressure, slings one out of the back of the end zone. And there's four seconds remaining. They faked in with Kelly and a blitzing Antoine Wilder. Hit him in the backfield, and there's just one play remaining. Yeah, you got it. You, you, a great defensive. There is no foul for intentional grounding. There was a receiver in the area. Second down. Receiver in the area. Must have been in the third row. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. There's one play to go. Four seconds remaining. Carolina's trying to go to 5-2 and two on the season. They're up 15-9 to nine in Knoxville. You got to blitz a linebacker. Garitano. You got to show something different. You got to remember this is a freshman, redshirt freshman quarterback. He's played well coming down here, but just get in the pockets of those receivers. Garantano and Will Muschamp takes his last time out as they lined up. Tennessee lined up, got their set, and now he wanted to match it and called the last remaining timeout on the board for anybody. Man, they don't make it easy on us up here, do they, Tommy? They don't. <laughs> Not only us. <laughs> How about those three or four million people listening to you and us? You know? Actually, three or four people. Your parents. A lot more than that. All right, what do you think Tennessee does here? They're at the two-and-a-half yard line, right at the two, really, just outside of that. I think you got to get him on the corner, on the edge somewhere, because then you got the run-pass option and... But, but I, I'm, I, I don't know. I, I, I think we also, either way, you got to put a linebacker after him. But you, that's why you study the film and see what they do. They're on the left hash mark, which means the wide side of the field is to the right. And um, it's second down, second and goal from the two yard line. Kelly's in the lineup, but he's to the left of Garantano. Out of the shotgun on the left hash mark. He's looking left side, backside, slam, batted down, batted down. There's one second remaining, though. One second remaining. The pass play was batted down. DJ Wanham, of course, another great play, but Tennessee stays alive with one second remaining. How does that play only take three seconds? He was standing in a pocket a long time. I don't time. understand that. Somebody needs to. That is absolutely ridiculous. I think. It all comes down to this. Tennessee has been blanked in SEC games. They have not won. They're under pressure. Their entire program and Butch Jones, the Gamecocks, at the own two-yard line with one second remaining. Garantino going to roll right, throwing into the flat. It's deflected and broken up. The Gamecocks win it. The Gamecocks win it in Knoxville, 15-9 on a defensive stand to end the ball game. There's Garden and Black all over the field celebrating. I tell you, I could not be more proud of a guy in Muschamp and uh, that entire staff and those players. My gosh, what an exciting ball game. And once again, Todd, this game came down to a few points. And it just usually amazing. does. Yeah. In the last second, literally, Will Muschamp goes to 6-0 and lifetime against the Tennessee Volunteers as he gets the third win ever for Carolina at Nayland Stadium.